Hello, my dear students, and the rest of the learners. Welcome to part six of a 25 part series of tutorials on creating presentations using Microsoft PowerPoint. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how you can create and apply master slides. My name is Meme GM, or you can simply call me Emily Swab. The slide master is an element of the design template that stores information about the template, including font styles, placeholder sizes and positions, background design, and color schemes. The slide master's purpose is to let you make a global change, such as replacing the font style and have that change reflected on all the slides in your presentation. You will typically go to the slide master to do the following. Number one, to change the font or bullets, to insert art, such as logo, that you want to appear on multiple slides. Change placeholder positions, size and formatting. To see the slide master, you display master view. You can make changes to slide master just as you would change any slide, except remember that the text on the master is only for styling. Actually, for the actual slide text, such as titles and lists, should be typed on the slide in normal view or for headers and footers in the header and footer dialog box. When you change the slide master, changes you have made to individual slides are preserved. In other words, if there are certain settings, for example, formatting that you have done to a specific page or a specific slide, whatever changes you make in the slide master may not affect you are already made changes or settings for specific slides. And therefore, when you change the slide master, changes you have made to individual slides are preserved. A slide master is added to your presentation when you apply a design template or a theme. Usually, the theme or template also contains a title master on which you can make changes that apply to slides with a title slide layout. The title master is used to make changes to slides in your presentation that use title slide layout. The title slide layout is available in the new slide list box and is the first layout that is shown. A title slide layout contains placeholders for a title, subtitle, headers, and footers. You could use a title layout several times in a presentation to lead off new sections. And you might want to give these slides a slightly different look than the rest of your slides by adding art, changing a font style, changing the background color, or the like. You can change the title master and see the change on all the title slides. To see the title master, you display slide master view by clicking on the view menu and then clicking on slide master. Then in master view, click the title master thumbnail on the left to display it. Set the formatting for each of the title slides based on the types of slides that you'll be using in your presentation. Therefore, you can then make changes to the title master of the slide master, just as you would change in the slide. For example, you can change the font styles for title, subtitle, and footer text, such as slide number and date. You can also change the placeholder positions, formatting of your slides, and size can also be changed. You can also 
and part or change the background or color scheme for all title slides. If in master view, you don't see the title master, you can insert it by clicking on slide master menu, and then you click on insert slide master from the toolbar. By default, the title master inherits some styles such as font type and size from the slide master. However, if you make changes directly to the title master, those changes are always preserved and will not be changed or affected by changes to the slide master. If in master view, you don't see the title master, just as I've said, you can insert it by clicking on slide master menu, and then you click on the insert slide master from the toolbar. So, to view the slide master for your presentation, you do the following. You open the presentation that you are working with or on, then you click on the view menu and select slide master view. You can then set each of the master slides as you would like, especially those that match with the type of slides that you have in your presentation. Finally, you click on the close master view button to go back to your presentation. The following is therefore a demonstration on how to display the master slide for the presentation by the title Introduction to MLSWAP. Usually, when you decide or once you start creating a presentation and you add a slide or a number of slides, each of them usually contains a master slide by default. So how do you view the master slide in this presentation from where you can be able to make what we call global changes to our slides? So to display the slide master, you click on view menu. This is our view menu. You click on view menu. And then after you click on view menu, you look at the various views that we have. In the normal view, we have the outline view. We have the slide master. We have or the slide sorter. We have the reading view. We have handout master. And we also have the notes master. So to display the slide master, you click on this button here, the slide master. Once you click on slide master, you'll be taken to what we call the slide master view, and we shall be able to see the master slide for this presentation. So let me click on slide master. You can see that after clicking on slide master, we now have a new menu that has been added here by the name, the slide master, this one. And therefore, the toolbar that we now have, this toolbar here contains the various commands that we can use in our slide master. And we can also be able to use the other menus too, just as we do for the normal or for the other slides. So if you look on this section here, we have what we call the slide master uh, slides thumbnails or the slides thumbnails for our master. We have this slide that looks like this. Then we have another one that looks like that. And if you look, each of these contains a certain 
design or a certain format based on the type of slides or layouts that you might want to arrange in your slide. So if, for example, we have a slide in our presentation that is of this format, we can decide how we would like it to look like. So this is what we call the slide master view. So under the slide master view, you can be able to carry out various activities, just as we are going to see. The activities that we would like to be reflected on slides in our presentation that have similar formats. So if we have a slide in our presentation that is of this format, we can decide how it is going to look like. If we have one which looks like that, we can set a number of attributes for this slide so that those attributes can be applied on our list of slides in our presentation. And therefore, whatever you do, whatever type of changes or whatever type of formatting you apply, whatever colors or fonts or effects you apply on the mass slide, they are reflected in the various slides in our presentation. And therefore, for you to be able to make what we call global changes or effects across your presentation, it is good for you to know how to make use of the master slide or what we call the slide master. Let's, for example, have a look at how our current slides looks like, and then we make some few changes on the master slides, and then we see the difference. For you to be able to go back to the normal presentation on the ordinary slides, you have to close the master view. So you click on close master view. Let me close master view. Now, this is how our slides look like. You can see this is our first slide. This is our second slide. This is our third slide. And this is our fourth slide. If you look carefully, each of these lines has a certain kind of design. Like if we click on this slide and then we click on master view, let me go to master. So you, I click on the view menu, then I click on slide master. You can see that this slide resembles our first slide. So I can decide to say some attributes here that would like to be reflected on our first slide. For example, I can click on this text placeholder and then I can click on home menu and then I click a filling. I want to fill it with some color. So I can click shape fill and then I can choose, for example, that color. Then I can also select this other text placeholder here. Let me choose an outline for it. Let me choose a weight, that weight. And then I can also add some color like a blue. Let's also click on another slide in our MASA uh, slides. So let me click on mass slide again, and then let's have a look at a few of them. I want one which has a picture because one of my slides have a picture. Yes, this one here. Let me also format this. Let me format this by adding something to it. For example, let me add a picture into it. So let me click on this button here, on this placeholder. Then I can insert a picture. Let me choose a small picture, like this picture here. Then I can insert it there. Let me resize it. 
and place it here. And then I can even move it a little bit far from that um, place. Remember, you can reposition the placeholders. So I want to resize my placeholders so that that placeholder appears, for example, somewhere there. And then I can format this um, placeholder. Let me add some color to it. So I can click on fill. Let me fill it with some color. And this color that I want to fill it with is the color which looks that way. And then I can also change the color for this one by choosing a color like that one. I can click on save button. And then I want to go back now to my uh, presentation so that I can see whether some of the changes I made on my master slide have been reflected to certain um, slides. So I'll click slide master menu, and then I click on the close master view. Great. My dear students and the rest of the learners, you can see that those changes you have made in the master slide have already been reflected in our specific slides. The slide, this slide, which the slide which looks like the slide we have made formatting to, which was the first slide, you can see that those attributes or those changes you have made have been applied on the first slide. We have not, if you look also on this second slide, you can see that there's a background picture that has been added here. This is not movable. It has become part of the background. It cannot move because we have already um, set a picture there. So we can be able, as you can see, we can be able even to remove, or we can even remove this picture and have some picture at the background. But let us retain it. Let's retain our picture where it was. Let me resize it a little bit so that it does not hide the other picture that I already have in my presentation. However, you can see that if you have to add certain pictures, within your slide master, because those pictures will always override the rest of the pictures, you must be very careful on what you're putting on the master slide. Because every slide that looks like this, this slide will get this kind of a format. For example, let me insert, let me insert a slide just for checking. I want to click on insert the menu and then I point on new slide. Then if I click on this slide with a picture, you can see it, the, the slide comes already with the formatting that I have already set under the slide the master view. That's why I'm saying you have to be a little bit careful and cautious on how you set you are master slide because the changes you make there apply globally across all the slides that have that um, a format or that have of that title or that look like the slide that you have formatted under the master. And therefore, whatever you put in the master slide, note that that is going to be reflected in various slides that are of similar format or that are of that kind of uh, title. So that's what a slide master is. And that's how it works. Let's continue so that we can see how else we can be able to make use of the slide master. 
or mass of light. We can also add another or insert another slide master on or the title master in our slide. In other words, you can have a presentation with several master slides or slide masters or title masters. This is because you may have a master or slide master for each specific uh, slide. For example, if I add a new design or theme, if I have a slide within my presentation and I change its theme or its template, then you are going to have a separate slide master for that a specific slide. So how do you insert a slide master or title master in your presentation? So you click on the view menu and select master slides. From the slide master view toolbar, you click insert slide master. Then you format the various parts of the slide just as you'd like them to appear in your presentation by selecting the slide master thumbnail on the left, then performing the necessary changes to it, just like for any other slide. And that is exactly what I have already demonstrated. However, let's have another demonstration on how to insert a slide master in our presentation by the title Introduction to MLE Swap. So let's go back now to our slide master to see how many master slides we have or how many slide masters we have. So let's click on the view menu and then we click on slide master. If I scroll on the, the slide uh, master thumbnails, you can see that we have only a single uh, slide master. So let's do some formatting on this slide master. Let's have some formatting. Let me fill this title with some color before we insert a new slide master. So I can click on home and select the fill. I can click on shape fill and I have some color there. And then I can click on this other section and also have some color added to it. That is shape fill or shape outline. Let me fill it with some color also. So let me fill it with this color. We had also in our presentation, we have a slide which is blank. Let's see. Yes, this slide here. We can also do something here on this slide. We can uh, have some formatting for it. So let me still fill. Let me fill that um, placeholder with some color. Let me fill it with another color. And I fill it with another color. Let me save. Now, the changes or the settings, the formattings I've done are for a single slide master. If you want to insert a second slide master, you click on slide master menu, and then you click on insert slide master. Where do I want to insert my slide master? Let me insert it below there. So I'll click on the last um, slide, for the first slide master, then I can click on insert slide master. You can see a new slide master numbered as two. As you can see, has already been 
and then there. So the second master uh, slide begins there, as you can see. So you can make changes or you can do some formatics within the second slide master the way you want. So that's how you add or insert a new slide master in your presentation, especially if you want to have several slide masters or several attributes being applied to specific slides within your presentation. So you have, you may have some slides having the formats for the first master slide, and then you can have others having the formats for the second master slide. So you can have as many master slides as possible within your presentation, and then you can decide which master slides to apply to which slides. So that's how you insert a new master slide in your presentation. You can also erase a master slide or title master slide from your presentation if you don't need it. So how do you delete or how do you erase or remove a slide master that you no longer need from your presentation? Remember, when you delete a slide master, the title master is automatically deleted with it. You have just seen that when we have inserted a new slide master, it has come with several of title masters. It has come with a title master for itself. So if you delete a slide master automatically, that also means that we're deleting the title master. So how do you delete a slide master. To delete a slide master, you click on the view menu and then you click on slide master. In the thumbnails on the left, click the master you want to delete. Then on the slide master view toolbar, you click delete. This can be demonstrated or can be done as follows in our presentation by the title Introduction. Emily Swap. So, just as you have seen in this presentation, we have two master slides or we have two uh, slide masters. We have the first one, which is numbered as number one, and then we have the second one here. So far, we have not applied any attributes to our second master or slide master. And therefore the slide master that is in application in our uh, presentation is master or slide master one. So we can delete or do away with slide master two, this one. So to delete it, you click on slide master two. You click on this first slide in it and then you click on slide master view and click delete this one. So when you click on this button, you are going to remove this slide from your presentation. So let me click on delete. And you can see we now have only one master slide in our presentation. Always remember to save your changes by clicking on save button. So that's how you delete a master slide or a slide master that you don't require anymore in your presentation. Now, some of the things you can do through the slide masters is, for example, changing the background styles of your presentation. So how do you choose background styles for your presentations that can be applied through the master slides or the slide master? To choose the background style for your theme, 
click on parking garage styles button from the slide master toolbar. Then click on format background commands. From the format background tasks pin, select the field type of choice. For example, solid field, gradient field, ETC, and save the necessary options as required. You can click on apply to all command if you would like the background to be applied across all the slides. So the following is a demonstration on how to choose or set background styles through the slide master for the presentation by the title, introduction to MLE swap. Let me close the slide master view so that we can see how our presentation or our slides are looking by now. So I will click on the close master view. So currently, this is how our slides are looking like. You can see how they are looking like. The last slide is empty. It does not have any content. So if you want to apply some background color across our presentation, or across our slides, how do we do it? How do we do that? So you click on the view menu, and then you click on slide master. While you are here, because this is now our master slide, we can decide to change the color. As you can see, we have this button here, which is background styles. So you click on background styles. You can choose any of these backgrounds here, or you can click on format backgrounds. Let me click on format background. Then from the format background task pane, you can choose how you want your background to look like by making your media settings and a solid field, gradient field, picture or texture field, pattern field, and you can also hide background graphics. So I want to choose gradient field. And then I can choose a certain color here. And a color, let me choose a color that impresses me. So I'll click on standard and choose, choose this color, which one? No, let me choose this one. Let me choose this one. Yes. So you click OK. Then you can apply that background color to the specific slide that I have selected or to all. So let me click on Apply to All. Let's go back to our main slide or presentation and see how our slides look like. So you click on the close master view once you are done. Great. My dear students and the rest of the learners, you can see that our background has been applied across all the slides. This is first slide, second slide. Third slide, fourth slide, and the fifth slide. And of course, I can see that now, because I've been able to apply my background, I can now close on the format background task pane. So you close by clicking on the close button. So that's how our slides are looking like for now. Let me, or let us now move on and see what else we can do. Always remember to save your work. So let me click on save button from the quick access toolbar. So our background 
style has been applied. And that's how we change or set the background to run across all the set of slides in our presentation or on specific selected slides. In addition to applying, um, having or setting the background, you can also apply them on your slides. So to apply a combination of colors, fonts, and effects to create the overall look and the feel of your slides in your presentation, that is what is called a theme. So a theme is generally a combination of colors, fonts, and effects that you can use to create the overall look and the feel that you want for your slides. So how do you do it? You click on the view menu and then click or select Slide Master View. Then click on Themes button from the Master Slide toolbar and select the theme of your choice. So the following is a demonstration on how to apply theme through the Slide Master for the presentation by the title, introduction to MLSWAP. So currently, this is our presentation. That is slide one, slide two, slide three, slide four, slide five. Let's see what themes are all about. So to apply themes in our presentation, you click on the view menu. So you move your mouse as usual and you click on the view menu. So let's click on the view menu. So we click on the view menu. Once we click on the view menu, we click on slide master. There we go. So I have been able, or we have been able to go to our slide master. So from here, you can see how our slides are currently looking like. Now, for us to be able to apply themes, you click on this button here that reads themes. Each theme uses its own unique set of colors, fonts, and effects to create the overall look and feel of your slides. PowerPoint has tons of themes to give your presentation just the right personality. So you right click any theme for you to decide on whether you want to apply it on a single slide or on several slides. So let me click on the themes button here. You can see we have several themes and you can see to click on browse for more themes, either from the internet or from your computer. So in this case, we have the theme which is currently there, this theme or the, the first theme here. And you can change to other themes. For example, let me click on this theme, this one. Let me click on this theme. So if I just click on it, it will be applied across, as you can see. Let me undo, let me undo, and then I can right click on it, this one, and then I, cl I click on apply to selected slide master. So I can click on it that way. So in that case, if in my presentation, I have several master slides or slide masters, then this theme will only be applied to the first master slide. However, in this presentation, I only have a single, uh, slide master that is being applied across all my uh, slides. That's why you can see that it has been applied across. Let me 
change that and choose a different a different one or yes let me change let's choose another one for example this one here i can click on it then you can see let me close master view so that we can see what that means so i can click on the close master you can see how our presentation is currently looking like hmm, i don't love this personally i don't like it so i'll undo i'll undo what about this one if i close master view this is how our other dim look like mm -hmm. do you love this no i don't is interfering with my slides it's making my slides look uh, um, an artistic they are not looking nice so i can click on any do to undo the change what about this one which i had if i click on themes and then i can click on the first one here this presentation then i can click on the close master view hmm. at least this one is better this is better for me what about you, my dear students and the rest of the learners? I know you have your own preferences. What is important is for you to know how to apply the themes. So I will click view menu again and I click slide master. Then while I'm here, maybe I can adjust a little bit. Um, I can adjust a little bit um, this color. This yellow color is not really uh, pleasing. So I can click on home and uh, change that yellow color. So maybe I can choose a different color. So I can click there. Then I click home and change shape of fill by choosing a different color. So I can. Uh, choose a different color like one which does not clash can we have some green mm -hmm. i think that one is better mm -hmm. let me go with this so i'll click back slide master and then click on save and then click on close master view is this one looking better? But this one, the, the color for my text and the color for the fill are a little bit close to each other. So maybe I can go back. Or instead of making the change from there, why don't I make the change directly from here? So let me click on this um, place order. Because the change I want to apply is, I don't expect it to be applied across the entire set of slides or the entire presentation i can just change it for this uh, first slide however if in this presentation i'm going to have more similar slides then i will have to be forced to make the changes in each of the slides so which is easier to use the slide master or to change directly on a single slide let me go back to my slide master so click on the view menu click on slide master and then click on this this order and change it uh, fill to a different color. So I'll choose one which is near yellow, but not really uh, yellow. I think I can have that. That's my preference. Then I can click on slide master and click on the close master view be taken back to my presentation for me i think this one is a little bit better so let me save so you have seen that when we change or when we apply a certain beam when you apply a certain beam it affects everything it changes even the text and the entire look of the slide let me just 
click another one so that you can see. I'll click on themes, this button, then click on this theme. I want to click on this theme. So you click on it. If I click on close master view, you can see that the theme I have selected has changed everything, including the way my text was looking like. So a theme carries with it different types of fonts, different backgrounds, etc. You can see everything has now changed. The slides, the text, everything you can see, including the organization of my elements. Like we can see here, MLSAP's short description is even um, colliding or overla over, over, overlapping. It is being overlapped by introduction to MLSAP's YouTube channel. You can see a theme affects the entire presentation, especially if it is being applied across the entire uh, presentation or if your presentation is making use of only a single slide master. If you had different slide masters with different slides making use of different slide masters, then the theme would only affect those slides that are making use of that slide master. So let me undo so that they can maintain my previous um, um, attributes. So I can click on the close master view, and then I can retain my previous theme. Then you need to click on save button to save your changes. Through the master slide or slide master, you can also apply colors on the slides, just as I've been doing. So to quickly change all the colors used in your presentation, you click on the colors button from the slide master toolbar, and then select the category of colors of your choice. So the following is a demonstration on how to apply colors through the slide master for the presentation by the title introduction to Emily Swap. That is, if you want certain colors or combination of certain colors to be applied across your entire uh, presentation. So how do you do it? You do the following. So when you are in your presentation, you click on the view menu and then click on slide master. When you are here, you come to this button here, this button for colors. So you can click on the colors here. Note, once you point, it tells you, quickly change all the colors used in your document by picking a different color palette. So we are simply selecting a certain color palette. You can see when I move my mouse over each of the color palettes, it is generating some combination of colors. You can see. I want to choose one which will make my slides look attractive. I think that one is not burnt. Yes. What about that one? Mm -hmm. That one? That one? Uh, even this one is not burnt. What about this one? Mm -hmm. I think this one is good. Yeah, it seems I'm loving all of them. My dear students, what is your feel? Let me have this one. Let me have this one. So I'll click on that color combination. And then I'll click on Save button and click on Close Master View button. That's how, how our slides are looking like. Hmm. Are they good? Somehow, but this one, the third slide is not looking presentable. The others are good. 
but the band one is not looking presentable. So I think I can change those color combinations or I change for specific objects. What is your feel? Now, because the rest of the slides are looking good, this slide is okay, this slide is good, this slide is good, no, this slide is not okay. This slide is good, so I can just adjust this manually. So I can click on that um, object, click on this object while I'm pressing down my control key and I click on that one. Then I can change the fill for those. So I can click on shape fill. Then I can choose a different color. For example, that one. Why have I changed the color for a specific object? It is because I've realized that there's no need of changing for the entire presentation through the master slide or the slide master because that is only affecting specific objects. But the background is good and the text combinations are good or the colors are good. Uh, let me adjust this. Uh, uh, they sold the text so that it does not go out of its position. We are going to see how we can format specific objects in our next um, series. Always remember to save your work. In addition to colors, we can also apply effects in our presentation. To quickly change the general look of objects in your presentation, you click on effects button from the slide master toolbar and then select the effect of your interest. So the following is a demonstration on how to apply effects through the slide master for the presentation by the title introduction to MLE swap. So because we want the effects to apply across our set of slides, we are going to click on the view menu and then click on slide master. Remember, you always make use of slide master when you want to have what we call global changes. You want the changes that we're going to make apply across all the slides that have the master slide applying to them. So what we want to change or to do is to work with effects. So if you want to change the look of our objects, you click on effects button, this one. And then you can choose um, the effects that we need. When you click on each, you'll be able to see how your objects look like. So let me choose um, a mirroring glass and see. So I'll click on milking glass. I click on save. Then you close master view to see how your slides look like. So let me click on the close master view. How are our objects looking like? Do mm -hmm. you see any change? Let me choose another one. So save the changes. You click again on the view menu, click slide master, and then we can uh, click on effects. And then let me use, let me click on ribo or riblet. Then we can save our changes. And then we click on close master view. You see in the changes, remember the changes are applying on objects. Which objects do we have here? For example, there's this object, is one of the objects. This is not an object, it's a background, it's part of the background. So the, 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 the effects 
are only applied to specific uh, objects. So let me click on undo here, retain the position for my object. Let me also turn back that, uh, that uh, effect. And then remember, I click on save. Now, some of those attributes will only be visible based on the objects that you have in your uh, presentation or in your slides. So whenever you want to change or to apply effects to your objects, if you have objects, you click on effects and then you choose the effect of your choice and then you save your slides or your master slide and then you click on the close master view. So my presentation currently is looking uh, quite good. According to me, what about according to you? You may think of, or you can decide the way you want. Sometimes we may also need to show or hide the master titles and the footers in a presentation. So how do you do that? You click on the view menu and select slide the master view. Remember, it depends with whether your presentations or your slides have the titles and the footers. If they're not there, then this will not apply to you. So you click on the view menu and select slide master view. And then you check or uncheck the title and the footers checkboxes. So the following is a demonstration on how you can hide or show the master titles and the footers through the slide master for the presentation by the title introduction to Emily Swap. So this is our presentation. These are our slides. These are our slides. Of course, due to the background that I have, some text may not be very clear from far. It's always good to ensure that everything is clear. So allow me, before you proceed, I make this text bold. Hmm, it is shouting, and it do. Can I change the color? Yes. Let me change the color for this font first. Um, let me have a better color. Which color? Which color will be a little bit clearer? Blue? Let me try. Let me click OK. Yeah, somehow, but it is resembling my uh, title. So let me change it a little bit. Uh -huh. This background seems to give us some challenge when it comes to our colors. Let me choose this one. Now, my dear students and the rest of the learners, you can see why background is important. So let me undo, and then I change the background color for this specific slide. So I can right click on this slide, and then click on format background, and then have a different feel. Let me choose a different color that will be a little bit clearer for my slides or for my text. So I can choose more colors and then let me apply that and see. Um, is that okay? Somehow it is, but why don't I adjust it further to another one? Let me choose this one. Let me choose that. At least my text for this slide is now clearer. That's slide one, slide two, 
slide three, slide four, slide five. But remember, just as we said in my previous tutorials, the colors should not be clashing and they should, they should not be very big within the same slide or as you transfer from one slide to another. Let me save that work first. So we are talking about hiding or displaying the purpose and the title. Or let me rephrase it, headers and footers, but we are calling it the titles and the footers. So you click on the view menu. So let me click on the view menu. Let me click on the view menu. And then we go to my slide master view or master slide view. So you click on the view menu and then click on slide master. When you look here on this screen, you can see we have title here and we have footers here. To remove the title, you click on the title. And then if you want, if it is not there and you want it to appear, you click title. If you want to remove footer, you can see at the bottom here, there are some footers, but they are not very clear because of the kind of color that I have. So you can remove footer, remove title. Then you save and then you close master view. Of course, in my uh, presentation, I didn't have um, specific titles and they are not even added the footers. So that's why there isn't much effect to my of in my presentation. However, if you want to have, or if in your presentation you have the titles and the footers, you click on the view menu, then click on slide master, and then you can check title for it to be displayed and you check the footers. Then you save your work and you close the master view. But I want to change something. Um, or let me just inform you, just as I said before, the colors you choose for the background and the colors that you choose for your text, none of them should clash with the other or none of them should make the other to be uh, illegible. So everything should be very clear. So the themes that we choose, the colors that we choose, the background that we choose, should be ones that do not make the user strain either reading on the presentation or trying to understand what is in the presentation. And with that, my dear students and the rest of the learners, we have come to the end of part six of the series. You can continue to part seven of 25, in which we are going to learn on how to work with the layouts. Congratulations, therefore, for learning part six of 25 on the creating master slides in creating presentations series. You can access the rest of the parts in the series, as well as other computer or ICT videos by clicking or tapping on MLSOP ICT YouTube channel below this video. To subscribe to the channel, tap on subscribe button below this video in YouTube if it's not currently reading as subscribed. For any further correspondence, kindly of write it to us through the email mlsoap at gmail.com. Thank you very much for listening to me and be blessed.